Parks and Beauty is Me, teaming up with Kane Park for the Sip at Kane, Cleveland Heights' first wine and beer festival, September 23rd from 2 to 8. Welcome to another episode of the Pull Up Experience. Uh, so glad for you guys to join us. Of course, we have our uh, regular schmegular Brandon, not your average agent. Um, you here, Britt. And we have some great guests today. Um, Pink Party Retreat. So they're going to yes. tell us more about this event, tell us how it all came to be, and tell us how you need to be there. So we have uh, Reese and Gail that's going to tell us more about the Pink Party. Well, and, uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you for having Definitely. us. We're excited yeah. to be here yes. and tell everybody all about the Pink Party mm -hmm. Retreat. Yes. yes. I am excited to find out more. So um, tell us how it all got started. So about 2011, um, the founder of the Pink Party Retreat is Tenora Edwards. She also, if you haven't heard, sponsored a huge event here in yes, Cleveland. Yes, awesome The event. Pink and Black Honors. Yes. Um, she is the founder of the organization. So it kind of all started, believe it or not, as a pajama mm -hmm. party at her house. Wow. So she had like a pajama mm -hmm. party and um, invited several women over and we decided oh we should do this every year yeah. so each year the pajama party grew mm. and grew and now it's somewhat of a movement wow. so instead of just the pajama party where we're all sitting there you know just talking about women's issues now it's a movement okay. and we've moved from her house to Kalahari Resorts which is located in Sandusky mm. and from it being from it went from being maybe ten or twelve women to over a hundred women. Kind of wow, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So we try to have this event annually, but when COVID happened we had to skip a couple years and right after that we had our ten year in twenty one. Yeah. Mm. So we've been around the Pink Party Retreat organization. We're now a nonprofit. Nice. Um, yes, and we've been around since 2011, just holding annual retreats. We do other things in the community to mm. uplift women. The major goal of the Pink Party Retreat is to uplift and empower other women, embrace healing, all those things that women need mm -hmm. to get through their daily lives. A lot of us um, are mothers, we're entrepreneurs, we're hard workers, mm -hmm. stay-at-home moms. No matter what walk of life you come from, the Pink Party Retreat is there to uplift and empower you. So we kind of create what we call a safe space. And when we say safe space, we mean whatever we have, conversations that we have within that space, it stays in that space. Mm -hmm. um, part of the Pink Party Retreat is not just conversations about you know, storytelling or what we're going through. We also offer different services. We have a financial literacy piece. We have motivational speakers. We also have praise and worship. Mm. Um, there's just a wide range of services that we cover for our retreat guests. And the women that come are from all walks of life. Mm. And we, we are non-biased. They come from all walks of life because Again, as women, we all have something in common that we can share with each other. And the major component of the Pink Party Retreat is sisterhood. Yes. Mm. Bonding with another sister. Yes. Every year, people leave there. They've met another sister. They might be from here. And I'll say this too, people come from all over. They're not yeah. just from Cleveland. Wow. Right we right have there. women all flying all in from yes. Atlanta, South Carolina, North Carolina, Chicago, and we keep in contact with them. Um, and they come faithfully every year. We also have new people. So mm. that's the major premises of it for us to uplift each other and empower each other through our daily life experiences. That's awesome. Yeah. That Most is. of the, the women on the committee, they're all very professional women. We have nurse practitioners on the committee. Reese and myself, we both work in the court environment. Mm. Um, there's entrepreneurs. Several HR directors, there's people in the healthcare field. So, our committee is a wide range of people as well. We also have women in business. authors, 
ministers. There's quite a, a different range of women oh. on our committee that we pull together to host this retreat. And, and, and it's not just about the seriousness of our daily life stories. We have fun, too. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Yeah. Because it's at a water park. Who don't have fun yeah. at a water park? <laughs> you know? So um, this year, it is August 18th through the 20th. Each year, we try to get better and better and better. Mm -hmm. And I would say our last retreat was one of the biggest ones we one retreat that we had. We had uh, Larice Purnell who provided a financial literacy piece. South Larice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, um, the women got to take books home. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a vegan cook cooking demonstration mm -hmm. for us to get our health right. We also had our headliner was Big Daddy Kane. We had the brat. We had an eighties, nineties old yeah. school yeah. party. Yeah. 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 We had an eighties, nineties uh, costume contest, and people costume. came out. <laughs> people came out dressed like Janet Jackson. <laughs> we had people come out with the full Adidas oh, yeah. with the hat. Oh, with the hat and glasses. Oh, they had a dance competition. They had a dance oh, contest. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, people were popping and laughing and. <laughs> doing stuff that you know you haven't seen since the 80s and 90s yeah. so it's a lot of fun and again the major component of it is sisterhood, sisterhood. Okay. you know um it's hard to be sisterly sometimes mm -hmm. yeah as yeah. black women i just think that's one of the things we kind of struggle with in general yeah. is being sisterly to each other um, we have a tendency to tear each other down instead of building each other up. That's good. Mm -hmm. So that's what this retreat is about. There is none of that there. You know, you may come with a di with one mindset, but once you meet women that's, hey, girl, come here, give me a hug. I'm going to love on you for this weekend. You're going to learn some stuff. You're going to meet some other sisters. We're going to pray with you. Yeah. We're going to let you release things that are holding you back. There may be, like this year's title is called From Bondage to Breakthrough. Yes. I'm sorry, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <all right. laughs> Cause true. you never know what the next person is going through. That's mm -hmm. true. So it's like, That's come true. in, you come through with bondage, but you gonna leave with a breakthrough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's so many things that hold us in bondage. Mm -hmm. You might be on a job that you know you need to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you might just need that one person mm -hmm. just to say one little thing to give you that courage that or that motivation to be like, when I go in next week, I think I'm gonna. Well, I want you to have a plan though. First, right, right, right. Don't just, don't just leave. Don't, don't come don't to the retreat and think that we told you to quit your job. Oh, that's what the retreat party told me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. No, we're not saying that, but we want you to release yeah. those thoughts to get you motivated yeah. to your next level, right. so that you can leave that job. No one yeah. wants to get up in the morning hating to go to work mm -hmm. every, that's, every yeah, that's day. Real. Yeah. And it might be that relationship that you know mm -hmm. that's keeping you in bondage. It's not always abusive, but relationships sometimes keep you in bondage. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're not on the same page anymore. Mm -hmm. You might want to go to the left and he might want to go to the right. You might want to elevate it and they might want to stay stagnant. So we're hopefully to release something to help you make that relationship better, mm -hmm. but it, at least free your mind to think of your alternatives. Yeah. Even our kids, you know, I'm a mother. Mm -hmm. Our kids sometimes keep us in bondage. Yes. You know, because we live for them yeah. and we stop living for ourselves. That's absolutely true. So that's those are all things that you might be in bondage spiritually. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not mm -hmm. moving to your next level where you want to be spiritually. It's just so many areas, or your business. You may want your business to grow, but you haven't done the things you need to do to make it grow. Mm -hmm. right. So we're hoping that we can release you from bondage to breakthrough. That's mm -hmm. the topic. We have a dynamic speaker who's a motivational speaker who speaks all over. So hopefully plant some seeds and they grow. Awesome. Wow. So that's, that's basically what you can kind of expect um, like I said in the past, we've had all kind of live entertainment. 
we start off with a kickoff where we get you energized, mm -hmm. let you know what's going to happen for the weekend. Like for example, this year our, after our kickoff, you'll be you'll have a couple of sessions with the motivational speaker. Mm -hmm break for lunch we do provide some meals but then there's some meals that you get on your own you have at least six or seven hours a day free time to just explore the water park and then usually at night is when we kind of turn up we have a tribute band this year that's a pretty good band that I hear that they do a tribute to Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, come on. And they're supposed to be very interactive and you know get you up and moving and then that night you know, we have a wide range, age range of women, too. Mm. So you might have your younger generation, and you may have your older generation. Yeah. So we try to cater a little bit to everybody. Yeah. And like that Friday evening, that night, we're going to do a TikTok challenge. So, <laughs> you know, we're going to get the young people <laughs> and the older yeah. people together. Yeah. Each, each everybody that's Yeah, everybody's going to do a TikTok <laughs> challenge. And we're going to vote on who's the best TikTok yeah. while we all got on our pink pajamas. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Right. yeah so Please we're going to have, good. we have a sister sip where we have wine and cheese yeah. and also non-alcoholic mm -hmm. you know beverages mm -hmm. as well so those are some of the things you can expect we also are going to have a one woman play this year done mm. by melba moore wow she's a legendary actress okay. and singer mm -hmm. so she's doing a one woman play this year wow. so there's so much to offer yeah, while we're at Kalahari, we don't stay at the actual hotel resort. Mm. We stay at these beautiful entertainment villas. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's and five we're villas. Together. We're all together in each villa. Our pink party team, we have villa leaders who support the women inside of each villa. And then we come together over at the Convocation Center for the workshops and programming and the entertainment. But each villa sleeps about 18 people. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. Nice. There's uh, hot tubs in the villas. There's pool tables, yeah. a huge kitchen. Just a place for you to relax. It's called a retreat. And what does a retreat mean? That's to right. get away. Right. Right. <laughs> to get away. That's good. Yes. Um, Reese was a participant mm -hmm. in the Pink Party retreat for a couple years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now she's on the Pink Party committee. Yes, oh, I am. Wow. Yeah. So can you yeah. share? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 So I just want her to share her experiences, yeah. how she felt coming to the retreat over mm -hmm. the last couple years and what her experience is. Okay. Yeah. So my best friend, she's been knowing Tenora and them for a long time. And she has been coming the whole 12 years. Nice. So I think I came about about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm was my first time going out to Kalahari and I didn't know what to expect mm -hmm. you know she was just like come on it's a women's retreat I'm like okay well what else about it and she's like you have to come <laughs> and I'm like okay but well, what are we gonna be doing and she's like no you have to just come and see it was like one of the greatest experiences for me because um, it was just like women just uplifting and empowering each other mm -hmm. you know and it was like we had, it was so many broken women. I feel like I was broken in certain areas myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by the time I left, it was like, you couldn't tell me nothing. Oh, <laughs> it was like, when is the next one? Right. You know, it was just like the experience of, we had did something, I think uh, at the 10 year one where we had a sister circle mm -hmm. and we had to write down the things that are holding us back. Mm, okay. And we had, uh, who spoke at the sister circle? Was it the last retreat? The, the one, the 10 year. The 10 year, I'm not sure who the speaker was. I had to leave early oh, okay. at that oh, one. Oh, that's what I'm trying to, yeah, I can't remember. Um, uh, Clotia Mack. Clotia Mack. Yeah, so okay. she, she spoke. It was all about like healing, you know what I'm saying? So like at the end, after we wrote everything down, she said a prayer and we, crumbled them all up mm -hmm. and we like threw them in the middle of a circle mm. like okay you're done with that and then we oh. said a prayer and it was like don't go back mm. whatever you threw in the middle of that circle you let it go and you don't pick it back up mm. so and that's one of our signature oh. events is they it, it's towards the end of the mm -hmm. retreat it's the healing circle yeah mm. and it was just like i'm like okay what else they doing 
because I need to be there. <laughs> and you so, were hooked after that. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was hooked after that, and it was just like that time we was only doing two days. One day. One day. Well, right. we stayed the night one day, but we were we had activities for two days. Right. Right. And so it was just like a great experience for me. And then last year, Tenora had called and was like, "Would you like to be on the committee?" And I was mm. like. Are you serious? Mm. And I have been coming faithfully, you know yeah. what I'm saying, trying to come to every event because it really changed my life. Yeah. Wow. So when I was honored when she's like, you want to be on the committee? I'm like, what? So then I had the pleasure of being up <laughs> under Gail. <laughs> Aunt Gail. We call her Aunt Gail. Okay. I'm everybody's aunt. She, oh, okay. And she's a great aunt. Really aunt. Yeah, oh, she's the aunt. 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 So we all call her Aunt Gail. Aunt. Aunt. So, um, she was the head of registration. So they were like, okay, well, you'll be up under Aunt Gail for registration. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? So anything she asked of me to do or to know, I was there because I felt like that. They had put so much into me yeah. by me coming. There was mm -hmm. no way I could say no. That's you good. know what I'm saying? Like I did pray about it just so that I knew my role and knew yeah. what to do mm -hmm. to continue to be sisterhood with them. Mm -hmm. So now I am the head of registration. Oh, pass the torch. Oh, like to pass the torch. Yes, yes. Yes, I passed the torch. <laughs> um, I am she, now the president of the organization. Yeah. So oh, we, right. we just kind of passing the torch. Yes. And again, that's a part of bringing people along, mm. empowering them to do things that's not always in your comfort zone. Yes. Yeah. I, I am a Behind, I like being me behind too. the scenes. Me too. Like, put me We're behind, behind, behind the scenes. Yeah. I like to be the lady with the clipboard, making yes. sure everything. Right. I don't want to be too. out in the yeah. front. Yeah. So, I'm but I'm shy, being so. empowered yeah. to get out of my comfort yeah. zone mm. and come to the forefront. That's good. So I, I'm good. constantly being encouraged to move forward like um i did a little small speech at the pink and black honor yes you did that was very <laughs> uncomfortable for she me. did an excellent so job yeah, i know so what so so uncomfortable and i speak in front of people at work all the time right. but it's not thousands of people yeah. it's maybe 50 60 people <laughs> so i you know i got out of my comfort zone and i'm and i'm slowly becoming comfortable and part of that is because of being involved in the Pink Party Retreat. Yes. Okay. I'm pushing myself to the next level to do things that I haven't been comfortable doing in the past. And we hope that other women that come yes. to the retreat get a sense of comfort and they can move mm. to their next level yes. and do things outside of their comfort. Because mm. you can't stay the same all the time. That's when true. you stay the same, you're stagnant. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's how we get ahead. Mm. We yes. have to try new things and move forward absolutely and we also had uh, a few local radio personalities in the mm -hmm. past in the in the tenure when we had uh, dj tropicana okay yeah, yeah she hosted that was great we also had dj Loki. he oh, was our nice. guest dj mm -hmm. uh, a couple years before that we did a panel mm -hmm. discussion with men and women yeah. And Sam Silk was the moderator. Nice. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that. Come on, Sam Silk. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did a moderator because women always have questions. They want to ask men. Yeah. You know, too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the men were forthcoming, but some of them weren't. But it was a great. It was a great. A great experience. Yeah. You know, just yeah. to be able to have open dialogue. That's awesome. All of the experience experiences are different. Mm -hmm. You know, like they try to go and see what women are going through and we think about it they put a lot of thought into these retreats yeah that's the one thing about it it's never the same thing right it's n i mean you're for sure to be healed yeah, yeah. but it's all different type of ways you mm. know what i'm saying so it, it's just it's just gotta come check it out yeah it's gotta yeah. come right. check it out and one of the reasons why we put a lot of work into deciding who we're going to have there mm -hmm. is because we want our the people that continuously come, we want them to experience something new That's and good. tell friends mm -hmm. so they can tell other people and mm -hmm. they can have the same experience 
And this, and we can keep this movement going. You yeah. know, again, that's part of something we want to be part of our legacy as well. Mm. To keep the movement going. Yeah, Let's right. continue I to know. uplift. <laughs> <laughs> I hit it for you. <laughs> <laughs> we want to continue to uplift and motivate each other. It's like they say, it's rough out here in these streets. Yeah. 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 No. I love how it went from a it went from a pajama party yeah. and now it's a whole movement. Yes. To yeah. where yes. women get empowered, women can network, women can find mentorship, women can find just what whatever period they are in their life or whatever they're going through in life, they can find that in which y'all created. So shout out yeah. to y'all. Yeah. And create, you know, lasting relationships sure. and yeah. networking. Sure. I know people who have gotten jobs just from having a conversation wow. with somebody at the pink party or their business. Now they're doing, they were just doing cupcakes for us and now they're doing cupcakes mm. for everybody. Yeah. You know, yeah. vendor. We, we also have vendors. Mm. Okay. We do. We also have vendors. Yes. Um, each year we try to do different types of vendors, mm. but I think at the last one we had a, a, a lot, lot of different clothes. vendors. Clothes. They sell clothes mm. and Beauty products, self-defense products. Self wow. yeah. Oh right, yeah. right, so right, right. We had a little uh, lady who sold um, THC THC baked mm. goods. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And so it's just a lot. It's just for it's you know it's a little something for everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. everyone. It's a little something for everyone. We also had uh, Leandria Johnson. Oh wow, gospel singer. Oh, yeah. Can't sell your home and tired of carrying that load? Drop the house. Gutter Properties will buy your house as is with offers up to $300,000. Need serious repairs, liens, taxes, or judgments? We'll work through your unique situation to get that house off your back. During your free no-obligation appraisal, we maintain social distancing and take every precaution to ensure your experience is safe. Drop the house. Gutter Properties. Call us or visit gutterproperties.com today. Oh, she was, house amazing. she was amazing. She was amazing. She probably wasn't a dry eye. No. She brought the mm. house down. And that's what we mean. You know, sometimes you just might need to get on one of those real good, ugly clothes. Oh, <laughs> Brandon <laughs> probably don't know. I'm going to require. You, you know, might not know about that. The real <laughs> good, <laughs> ugly, you know, yeah, that yeah. ugly cry. Yeah. Where you wipe the your eyes all swollen afterwards. You look at your you neighbor, they doing the same ugly cry. You yeah, are right. You know, you okay. Yeah, you're right. You're no judgment. You gotta get on that real good, ugly cry. And then you shake it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good. And then you have fun after that. That's right. 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 Sometimes you need that. Yeah, absolutely. I love how y'all do things excellence too, because. I was at the Pink and Black Honors. Once again, one of the I, I've been to a lot of soirees in my lifetime, <laughs> but this was done in so great. How can I say this? I can't even describe it. It was just it was. I love to see our city come together, entrepreneurs, and just see everyone look their best, mm -hmm. be at their best, and be honored at their best. That was the main yeah. thing when I walked in. I was like, okay, Cleveland, we should. Yeah, yeah, we did. We showed out. Cleveland showed out. Showed out yeah. tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Nice. You know, we're in Severance Hall. You know, yeah. how many yeah. times do we get to be in Severance Hall right. mm -hmm. to do anything? To do anything. Right. And honor us on top of that. You right. Know? Correctly. So that, it was a beautiful yep. thing. I know if it, anything like that is an indication of how you guys have events, I know it's going to be. So, okay. Tenora's a founder. <laughs> so, and that's uh, preached to us on a daily basis. <laughs> Excellence. Mm -hmm. We have to move in excellence. Okay. That's her Not name. only is her name, her brand, it's all of us. Yeah. You know, yeah. when you walk in, you're going to see pictures of all of us. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have to take pride in what you do because it go, it follows you wherever yes. you go. You know, yeah. even if I'm not at the pink party retreat, somebody might see me yeah. in my place of employment. Like, yes. oh, her event. Oh, that's the lady mm -hmm. from that event. No, we're not having that. Yeah. We're going to move in excellence. That's good. So when you right. see me, you're going to be like, oh, you from the Pink Party yep. Retreat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love y'all. Exactly when is, is the next one? Yeah. Awesome. For I sure. see people That's stopping me. Yeah. You know, a couple times we say, oh, this is going to be the last one after. Y'all can't stop. Y'all can't stop. Won't yeah. stop. No, <laughs> that's what, yeah, you can't <laughs> stop. Like, like, no, yeah, to no, can't stop. Yeah. Yeah. Can't stop. Gotta keep don't doing know it. Who you're helping. Mm -mm. Don't know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. so. Some people sit there quietly, yeah. and but you don't know. And there's been a. It was a couple of ladies that 
didn't really talk much. They came by themselves. Mm -hmm. And at the end, they walked around and like, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They needed that. No, that's that's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a beautiful thing. When, well, can men can men join? <laughs> well, it no, is I'm, not, a, I'm not asking for a friend. You know? It is a Either women's <laughs> empowerment <laughs> organization. Okay, okay. And we like to empower you to start your own. You know what? Oh, oh, there you go. Okay. 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 We did have um, men were able to come to the old school party. Old school party oh, okay. we had, so yeah. it was mixed. Yeah, it was. And mixed. then we had Ray Junior when he came um, a couple of a years, couple years before ago. that. Yeah, he did. And um, it was men allowed for that. He had like yeah. a little concert. Oh, out there, oh so. yeah. No, that's no, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll ask for a friend. You know, uh, okay. no, but I, I love once again. Um, if y'all ever want to start a man shop, then let me know. We'll incorporate you can talk about the words or whatnot. Okay. That. <laughs> we'll give you some pointers. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, and we're not just about the retreat. We do other stuff in the community as yes. well. Um, this weekend, it just passed. We were a part of the Phoebe Foundation yes. mm -hmm. uh, Wealth Wellness Weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, Tenora spoke, myself, and a couple other committee members spoke to female entrepreneurship and then I kind of spoke about different obstacles in people's lives that keep them from moving forward like mm. suspended driver's license yeah. you know old criminal cases and yeah. things and people don't really know that those are things that can be changed and stop you from mm. hold, stop they can be moved off your record to stop holding you back okay. right. so we did a lot of different talks to different people in the community about entrepreneurship and moving forward with your goals. We also participated in the wellness walk mm. on Sunday. It was like a two and a half mile walk to stamp out, you know, financial illiteracy yes. in the black community mm. because we just, there's just so many of us that are financially yes. illiterate. Wow. So we participated in that. We've also had a girl chat where girls from age 8 to 18 can come and talk about their issues mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So we've had, we do vision board parties. We got um, our shoe drive going on We right also now. have a shoe drive going oh. on where we are collecting shoes and they're donated to an organization called funds to you.org and the shoes go over to Haiti. Oh, mm. right. oh yeah. Wow. That's, that's amazing. So we do a lot of things in the community. Mm. I'm just trying to think of um, the last few things we've done in, over the last couple of years. I think we've done uh, something also with human trafficking. Mm. Just trying to remember everything that we've done over the last couple of years. Oh, I was say, yeah. I mean, the fact that, you know, it, yeah, it's just, so, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's just not the retreat. You got to kind of get out in the yeah. community, too. Yeah. Yeah. So how are people going to know who you are if you're not yeah, out you in the do. community? And services is, is what we're about. We have to serve. Yeah. Yeah. We've been blessed, so you have to bless others. So I kept them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but again... The experience for her, mm -hmm. the experience for me, and the yeah. experience for somebody else yeah. is just unique to the person. Yeah. So the only way you're going to find out what we got going on is to come out come to out. college. Come check out. us out. Come check, check us, us out. out. Registration okay. is still open mm -hmm. um, to August 10th. You can come out on Friday, August 18th, and you're there till Sunday, August 20th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The final thing we do on Sunday is a praise and worship. Even though yes. you've checked out of the villa, you still have that whole day to use the water park mm -hmm. to yourself. You have Saturday. You also have Friday. We have Melba Moore. We have KD, who is our awesome motivational speaker. Yeah. We also have that Earth, Wind, and Fire tribute band. We got some great meals. We're going to have an all-white dinner, mm. our healing circle, pajama party, pajama yeah. party TikTok <laughs> dance, our wine and sip. We're going to yeah. offer breakfast buffet. We also are going to have our, our cookie crumble. Y'all been to cookie mm. crumble? Yes, that's what my cookies are. You have it I'm not. I'm not. Oh, oh, you you know, they're expensive. They are. They are. But they're one yeah. cookie. 
Yeah, it's something for the boys. Four dollars for one. Yeah, it's so worth it. But it's worth it. It is. Yeah, I got my kids here, but I don't know if those are good or bad. <laughs> cookie, got ice cream to go oh, with it. Nice. We also give away a ton of gifts. Okay. As soon as you walk up to us. You getting a gift, and you're yep. gonna get gifts throughout the whole weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It may be little small tokens, and then we used to give you a really nice big gift. Okay. So if you, when you leave, you gonna feel like you really went to a yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. That's we'll be good. talking about it for days. And what happened to show notes, by the way, guys? So you can go search, and you can get your tickets right after you watch the episode. Get your tickets, okay? Yes. 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 You can too. also yes, and you go directly to the Pink Party Retreat website. Mm -hmm. But our website is pinkparty123.com. Mm -hmm. Tells you about the organization. There's also pictures on there yes. from past retreats. The link to register for the upcoming event on August 18th is on there. Our contact information, we're on Instagram and Facebook. Awesome. Right. Like I said, yeah, so you guys don't go to search, I'm going to be right there. So don't, no excuse why you're not getting your ticket. It's going to be right, right. there. Okay? Don't miss <laughs> right. out. Don't, don't miss out. Sell us out. Wait, it is an awesome <laughs> weekend. We usually sell out, so wow. don't miss your opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we've yeah. been selling out every single year. Yes. We even have to turn people away. They're like, wow. well, I just, yeah. can I just Last sleep minute. on the couch? Mm -hmm. or we have people who really want to come. we like, okay, bring an air mattress. Mm -hmm. And they bring yeah, an air, air, air mattress. Oh, wow. Okay. They go. We try not to turn anybody away, but if it gets yeah. too, yeah. 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 we can't. Yeah. You know, no, so just just try to do it sooner. Yeah. Than bring an air mattress or bunk with a friend. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to turn you away, but you know, we just want to let you know that you're welcome regardless. Yeah. yeah. So maybe next year we yeah. maybe you know something some bigger. Let's you know. speak it into existence. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? We've been trying. We've been talked about even like taking it on the road or doing wow. it like a. a a trip yeah. to a country or mm -hmm. where yeah. you can, you know, rent That's rooms. We, yeah. what, the Believe me, the ideas continue. We keep constantly trying to level up. Okay. Mm -hmm. we Every meet single time. Okay. Constantly. Yeah. Yeah. The committee is always in a meet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 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 always in, and you know, everybody has great ideas, though. Yeah. You know? Sometimes I'm laying in my bed, pop up, well, I can't wait to tell them what I was thinking about. <laughs> you know, we all have great ideas, right. but most of the lead to Nora's the visionary yes. about yeah, sure. what she thinks women might need mm -hmm. or want, and we just follow. You know, we follow and serve everybody in excellence, and we all put our different spins on it because everybody has different talents. We have some awesome decorators and basket makers yeah. and me with my clipboard, you do this, you do that. <laughs> and again, I got to put the clipboard down and come out. My That's right. That's my clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Do you guys have any questions of us about it, the retreat? No. Well, you guys have covered quite a bit of ground <laughs> with everything. Yeah, no, you kind of walked us through piece by piece. What all? And I just love the fact that it still includes where it started, which is the pajama party. Yeah. You guys didn't lose that essence of how it all right. started. Right. started. So a lot that. of people, when they register, they're like a little apprehensive. What do you mean yeah. we're going to be sharing a villa? Like it's not hotel rooms? No, mm. it's a pajama party. Yeah. It's a pajama party. It's just not a pajama party with all your friends. It's a pajama party with some new friends. Yes. Yes. So when you leave, you leave with some new, new friends. friends. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, people are taken aback about that at first. And then when they walk into the villa, they're greeted with rose petals yes. and yeah. decorations yeah. and gifts. They're like, oh, really <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And then when we have the party aspect, it's a pajama party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I see and we don't want to lose that. that, you know. Yeah. You still have to have fun Absolutely. in your seriousness and in your networking That's and, good. you know, in, in motivation. Yes. Yeah. And no one wants to be uh, talked to all weekend long. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I was say, cause I love y'all. Y'all sorority, sisterhood. Um, networking circle. I mean, you guys are full encompassing, and I, and I think once again, this is needed not only in our city but probably across the world. Yeah. For yes. sure, like I said, being sisterly isn't easy. Yeah, you know, women. Tell them so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women. Um, we sometimes are our own worst enemies with each other. Some women are mean. Yeah, just mean. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and they don't smile like. 
when you come, you're going to be greeted with hugs yeah. and smiles mm-hmm. and welcome. And what do you, you don't need? have no choice. We're catering. <laughs> what is you back? You don't. You know what I'm saying? You walk up with that, you don't have a choice. No. Yeah. Yeah. To let that go. And, and we cater to them. Like, yeah. we're here Even for you. Even when you complain, we like, girl, come on. We like, right. hey, you some fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. I like y'all, y'all create a culture and, and, and a, a spirit for that because, like you yeah. said, you, you know, you're walking to church, you're like, I feel God up in here. You know? <laughs> y'all, 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 you feel the sisterhood, I'm guessing. Yeah. Right, right. 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 For, sure. Right. for sure. sure. You know, check the negativity at the door, y'all. You know? <laughs> so, no, but it. if you come in negative, you're not going to leave the same. There we yeah. go. Mm-hmm. There's no way. That's good. And that's a- Bondage breakthrough. Mm, yeah. See? See? Want to hit that one more time? Yeah, I'm about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you cover the past. We all went from pajama, a, a pajama event to now y'all are doing retreats. And I love how y'all said in the future, y'all got so many big plans. And I, I love that. Because y'all, y'all, not, y'all not stopping. You know what I'm saying? No. You can't stop. We'll stop. No, no, no. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing and whatnot. And I'm you going. know, it's a lot of work. But yeah. with hard work comes a reward. So, but we're dedicated to it. So, yeah. we're okay. We're working hard for it. So I do a lot of questions for you. What do y'all feel like is the biggest misconception someone might have about you guys' organization? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a bunch of women being, ca- you know, yeah. catty or mm-hmm. you know, just. I don't want to sleep in a room with people I don't know. It could be mm, judging right, me or right, talking or right. about mm. me or just like it's sometimes because, people mental stop them. Right. You know, okay. You hear a lot of you have people, to be open. Yeah, mm. you hear a lot of women say, I don't do women like that. I don't see how y'all all be together like mm-hmm. that. Mm. You know, I, I, I don't do women like that. I've been around a lot of women. I don't like it. You don't know. Right. Mm-hmm. It's a different type of women. Right. I was about to say. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, so that's good. So I, I like I, I've heard I'm a man, you know what I'm saying. I've heard women say like I, I like hanging out with God because it's not this versus women or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But once again, I feel like y'all because I'm, I'm sitting here with y'all. I, I feel it, you know. What I'm, saying? I'm a sister, you know what I'm saying. And I feel the camaraderie, and I, and I love that. Cause once again, I feel like our city needs that. Yeah, for so sure. Thank, thank for you, sure. ladies, by the way, yes. for putting this together. For sure, we're being so selfless. For sure, such a good. Yeah. Good efforts for like she call. said, you might walk in there with uh-huh. yeah. We hope you leave with a smile or yeah. less smile. Uh, you, know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might still be like this, just a little bit more relaxed. Yes, still. yes, because you don't know what was causing it. Right. Ooh. There's something behind the root that, of it all. Yes, yeah. you just don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. And some people might have so many deep down, you know, that's yeah. getting rooted. It's rooted in them. Right. So even if all of it doesn't come out, it's going to start to change a little yeah. bit. And you know what I'm saying? And the more that you are open to what's mm-hmm. going on, the more your heart will be open to it. That's and you, you can get that out of you. Mm-hmm. It might not be just this one retreat, but it could be a start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So to see. Mm-hmm. So see. All right. You know, some people have been hurt badly by other women. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. best friends, yeah. sisters, yeah. family members. You know, it's, sister hurt is real too. Mm. So they're not very easy to break those feelings mm. or barriers down. It's not very easy for them. Wow. So y'all reversing that hurt in a way. With these Try to. Okay. Try to. Even if it's just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right. Just a little oh, bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just yeah. like, oh, they might be like, okay, well, maybe all women are not. You know, yeah. Just But we use it too, though. Not to say, I still go through things in my life. Mm. But you know what I'm saying? But I got my sisterhood yeah. to be able to lean on or talk to them about what's going on. And it changes my whole aspect. Oh, yeah. Mm. I forgot. This is where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is who I got. This is who I am. I know who I am. And put that stuff behind me. Yeah. So it's not like we're saying like, oh, we're perfect. We don't go through. We go through a lot of things as well, our day-to-day life. But this sisterhood, the pink party, helps ease a lot of that. That's good. Mm-hmm. Listen, I, I, I appreciate ladies because really yeah. I do. Because once again, um, I know what we experience and I know Y'all got great things coming come, coming from not only from this event, but for the future. So I thank you, ladies, for today. Really, I do. Thank you. We thank appreciate you, you we having appreciate us. You definitely. For sure. Tell old people about us. Yes, we're going to tell everybody about you. And I do want to ask y'all several questions, right? Because okay, like okay. we talk about off camera. Y'all know I love the questions. Um, mm-hmm. And I know I ask them off, off camera, but I want to ask them on camera. So, as you guys, you guys are a great example of what collaboration can, what, what, what can happen with collaboration. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do y'all feel like we can do to change that stigma for our city? Because y'all are an example of it. 
but Cleveland Forces does not have, it's not known for that. <laughs> I think more programs like this, and just, we need more leadership in Cleveland. Mm. We need people to step up, kind of like how Tenor did, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, we're only one aspect, but like you said, our city, you know, mm. it just has such a bad vibe you know yeah. certain you know certain places you don't want to go yeah. but if you get those people that really care and have love mm -hmm. and come in with leadership qualities I think it can make it work but we, it has to be unified we yeah. have to do it together not just the pink party or not just even with you guys doing this to get right. it out there for people yeah. to hear and see it, we need more people like that That's and right. not just people to be selfish on there well I'm not sharing this this is what I'm doing on my mm. own and I don't want nobody else to be a part of that. Can't be like that. Right. We have to be unified. That's good. Or more events where we're all together. Yeah. yeah. And inviting people in to say, this is what the pull-up experience mm -hmm. is about. Yes. This is what the pink party is about. This is we all here to unify us. Mm -hmm. yeah. So more events yeah. where we're collaborating together in person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know the pull-up spirit, we y'all y'all have our full support. So y'all support us, y'all make sure y'all support the pink party, okay? Yeah. So thank y'all for, for coming sure. and whatnot. Uh, and then, this is my favorite question, legacy question. You guys kind of alluded to that part of the interview, mm -hmm. but I just want to, to to be able to come back to this episode. Like, okay, the legacy that they, they have started is now living on 20, 30, 40 years from now. What a legacy that you think the Pink Party wants to leave here in the city? Sisterhood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Empowerment. Mm -hmm. Healing, mm. love, yeah. That's good. That's good stuff right there. Forgiveness. Mm. A lot of people hold that unforgiveness Absolutely. in their heart, and that mm. just Absolutely. tears them up. So yeah. like yeah. we are full of that, like yeah. forgiveness, humility. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Cause a lot of people do things out of the their own hubris. You know, yes. mm -hmm. but you, I, I, like I said, I, I got a chance to only experience one event by just, just being that one event, you just got a chance to see the love that's being shared, it's genuine, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, so just gonna thank you guys for that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. Mm -hmm. And again, we can't say it enough. Pink Party mm -hmm. Retreat, yes. August 18th to the 20th yes. for 2023, Kalahari Resort and convention center. We will have that in the show. Like I said, guys, we want you guys to get your tickets today. Not tomorrow, today. 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 Don't be waiting to get on the couch and nothing like that. Or the air mattress. Or the air mattress. Or, no, no, y'all. Or the sleeping bag. Y'all be lobby somewhere. Lobby somewhere. Right, right, right. No, don't mess around, guys. Early bird gets the worm. That's right. That's right. Absolutely, absolutely. Um... Okay, guys, so we got to you know, so pay some bills, right? Because we got a couple events, right? Uh, guys, September 23rd, 2U Wine is having their very first Beer and Wine Festival at Kane Park. It is going to be a great I'm event. Sure, I put that in my calendar. Yes. 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 It will be. I've had awesome. a few sips. That's yes. amazing. Right. The best wine. I, I, I'll say I might be biased, but once again, mm -hmm. the best wine in the city. Uh, it's going to be music. Good. It's going to be food. It's going to be a health and wellness check. Uh, it's going to be uh, some just a great time for you and for your loved ones. So please get your tickets now. If you're a vendor looking to participate or sponsor the event, please also hit the link in our bio, okay? Uh, also, guys, uh, Sweetest Day, we are having a dating game. Y'all know we're also known for not only the podcast, but also our own events. Not quite like the pink part, but a little bit different for you, you know? Mm -hmm. We're having a dating game where we're, we're having entrepreneurs look for love. If you'd like to be a contestant on the dating game, please let us know. Um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. It really is. It, uh, we have B Titty. He's gonna host the. Uh, he's gonna host the event, and we're looking for contestants. So listen, uh, Sweetest Day weekend, we'll be at the Ford Bistro. It's gonna be a good time. So please look out for that flyer coming soon. And then lastly, oh, you know, one more thing, and I think we forgot the last episode too. Was it August tenth? Taste of Cleveland. Yes. Because two yes. wines will be there Absolutely. along Absolutely. with Thank other you, black um, entrepreneurs uh, throughout the city of Cleveland. Uh, coming together, Rocket House. Mm -hmm. uh, Shots of Red Black Friday. Red Black. Yeah. yeah, and I, I yeah. didn't go, and um, yeah. yeah, I've been seeing the advertisements. I'm looking forward to going. I will be there. Hope to see you guys there. Yes. It's gonna be a great it was time. Nice. I went last year. It was mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plan to get my belly full, get a little bit of wine mm -hmm. to <laughs> wash it down with. So yes, August 10th. Yes, awesome. Yes. yes. And then, um, guys, um, 
my podcast is coming uh, this Sunday, so August 6th, Beauty Told. Um, again, just going to be having great conversations, spilling the tea. Hope to see you guys there. YouTube channel will also uh, be in the in the notes as well. Yes. And, you know, come see your girl. Looking forward to seeing yes. you. Yes. If you guys support us, support Brittany, okay? Support Beauty Told because, once again, we're all family here. Um, this has been a great episode, it ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes. No, thank you, ladies, for coming on. <laughs> Listen, and we want to give a shout out to Tenor and everything yes. the ladies of the Pink Party are doing. And once again, thank you guys for your clever efforts and what you guys are doing for the city. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. No, thank you. And we want to thank you, time. the person watching this, the person listening to this, uh, because you make this possible because it is your subscriptions, it is your likes, it is your comments that help bring awareness to the great people of our city and beyond. So thank you. Uh, we'll see y'all next time, all right? Peace.